Good evening. The city of Wolverhampton is hoping 2,000 new jobs will be created over the next five years with the advent of a new high-tech engineering corridor. Jaguar Land Rover has been given the green light to build its new engine plant, while neighbouring businesses have told the BBC they're winning international contracts and recruiting fast. Ben Godfrey reports. Goodrich Actuation Systems employs more than a thousand staff in Wolverhampton, making flight controls for the likes of Boeing and Airbus. It's high-skilled engineering, which has just been rewarded with international contracts that should preserve this business here for 30 years. We're recruiting both in terms of engineering, highly technical skilled staff, as well as machinists and fitter testers um, across the site. And with the, the highly skilled workforce in the area, there's no end to the, to the success we could have. Regeneration of the city's northern limits is underway. These aerial pictures show a new high-tech corridor alongside the M54. It's now an enterprise zone, but for almost a decade, the I-54 site struggled to take off. That was then, and this is now. After a very bumpy start, this site is seeing three multinational companies moving in, bringing more than a thousand jobs. There's Jaguar Land Rover's engine plant. But the aerospace firm Moog and lab testing company Eurofins got here first. They'll open in the spring. A new road network's also planned. We will be looking to, or Staffordshire County Council and Wolverhampton City Council will be funding the new motorway interchange that will give the site direct access to the M54. In a city with one of the UK's worst employment records, there could be a new training centre, preparing the next generation of local engineers for new employment opportunities. We anticipate several hundred more jobs being created in the supply chain uh, industry. So uh, they're likely to follow, leading to around 2,000 jobs possibly over the next five, six years. And international eyes are watching. Goodrich Actuation Systems is in the process of being bought by a US firm, which could create one of the world's largest aerospace businesses. Ben Godfrey, BBC Midlands Today, Wolverhampton.